you know, brothers and sisters of Atlantis, it's not only that we need to fucking heal from motherfucking toxic relationships, but we got to, you know, heal from toxic friendships too, because that's a relationship. It's not a love relationship, but it's a friendship, okay? It's, it's a relationship, just a different type of relationship is what it is. And so these motherfuckers, they always fucking are the ones that put a little bit of motherfucking strain on us, okay? For instance, I, I'm fucking, you know, whatever. I'm moving on from my motherfucking wife's, um, her, she had this motherfucking friend, okay? You know, I don't want to fucking mention her name because she's disgusting, okay? You know, I've always fucking, we've always known her in every life, you know? But she was just this type of woman to where, because this will help you guys understand, okay? Um, she was this type of person where she was your friend, but she was not. For instance, if you had a goal or you had a dream, she would put you down upon it and say, oh, well, maybe you should do something else. All because she was jealous or she didn't want you to motherfucking do something with yourself. She didn't want you to do something with yourself. So we got friends like that where they'll be like, oh, well, maybe it's not a good idea for you to do that. Maybe it's not a good idea for you to... They're the motherfucking toxic friend advisors. Well, they'll say, it's not a good idea for you to move away and motherfucking start a new beginning and be a rich motherfucker. Oh, it's not a good idea for you to be a motherfucking... Have a, be in a relationship that makes you motherfucking happy because I'm not motherfucking happy, but I'm not telling you that. Those types of friends where they say, oh yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. That's fucking advice manipulators. Motherfucking fake fucking friends saying you shouldn't motherfucking do that. And they're the ones that motherfucking pull you back from actually motherfucking doing that. People continue to fucking cut those motherfuckers up. Cut them off. And fucking, you fucking piece of motherfucking shit people. How could you fucking do that? These motherfucking advice manipulators manipulators to say oh i'm your motherfucking friend i'm there for you but then you motherfucking give me this manipulative advice and say you're trying to help me but really you're fucking doing it so that way i don't fucking have this dream this goal that i'm trying to motherfucking obtain because you're a jealous motherfucker so you will fucking manipulate your motherfucking nice little face emotions and say oh well maybe that's not a good idea well good uh, shove it up your motherfucking ass and Fucking get lost, bitch. I fucking hate these people. I finally realized these people. I caught on to these people, okay? I thank my wife for that. But yeah, I fucking caught on to you, motherfuckers. And this happened to the to other people, too. Other connections in her life. And so, yeah, fuck these fake motherfuckers who use the motherfucking advice manipulation techniques to say, oh, yeah, well, maybe it's not a good idea. Fuck you, bitch. Just because you can't fucking move on and do something big with your life and you want to remain a fucking simpleton bitch. I fucking hate you. But anyways, that's what we need to heal from, brothers and sisters, is that we get these friends around us where they say, oh, it's a good idea, but, you know, maybe it's not because just to fucking pull you back. Yeah, and we also got to fucking pull away from the brothers who just motherfucking talk shit. Because sometimes we think, oh, well, the brothers, are, are just, he's just playing for what he's saying about me. He's just playing around. But really, they're just saying it. They're really saying it to be saying it. They're not saying it to fuck around with you. Some people, there is friends like that. Where they say, and one of the brothers says he can relate. He said, yeah, he had a brother. Yeah, one brother that's coming in. Okay. He's saying that, yeah, he had a had a brother like that. Where he wouldn't know if he's joking or if he's being real. Yeah, he was really talking shit in front of your face, brother. So that's what you guys need to, you've already determined, yep. We got the motherfucking frontal shit talkers will say, oh, she's a whore, just kidding. Really, bitch? Some people are just real fucking legit. I'm telling you, fake fucking friends. So continue to play these healing sessions to fucking, and you know, not only, it's fake and other shit, right? They betray us, they lie to us. There's so much other things. So keep playing that healing session. That'll help you heal from it.